The adjective wild can be attributed to many things in the CSGO market right now. Current Norse skin prices? Wild. Supply for armor capsules? Wild. This case? Not only wild, but also fire. And as requested by one of my viewers, episode 9 of Best Case Scenario will be on the wildfire case. In this episode, we will have to be extra careful with analyzing what is happening with the wildfire case. Since I got that comment in a previous video on May 13th, the wildfire case's price increased from 28 cents to 40 cents. In December 2020, this case was available for as little as 11 cents by the way. As per usual, let's analyze the case step by step and try to come to a proper conclusion by the end of this video. First off, the wildfire case, which is an operation case from the Operation Wildfire back in February 17th, 2016, was announced with this blog post. The case is a rare drop since November 28th, 2016. What makes this case unique is that it's the only case that holds Bowie knives in original finishes. According to a survey done by TDM Jesus, the Bowie knife is the 13th most popular CSGO knife amongst the community out of 19 total knives. But did the knives increase in value recently which might give us a first clue for why the case spiked in price? And I've checked on both Steam and Buff but no changes in price can be seen. And as a matter of fact, apart from the most popular Fate, Crimson Web, Slaughter and Case Hardened finishes which go for solid to good prices, none of the other finishes are really that expensive. And actually if you look at the case's graph on Price Stalker, we can see that the listings have been going down constantly even though there wasn't much of an increase in sales volume until May 25th which is one day ago at the time I'm recording this. And yet listings fell by 50% in a matter of two weeks. We've seen similar trends three times already just this year. Once in January where the listings fell up until the RMR capsules were announced. Once more at the end of February with the start of the case opening hype by the Chinese and probably also due to a video Trilux made on his case investments at that time. And then one more time near the end of March up until April 6th where the armor discount happened. If you look at the steam graph you can see that each spike in price corresponds with the listings disappearing which makes sense. Let's transition over to this spreadsheet I got access to thanks to a member of the CSGO market forum discord server. It's from April 17th so the supply for rare cases should definitely be a bit lower since then. But you can see that the wildfire case is in the 18th spot at 252,000 cases per 450,000 steam inventories which extrapolated to the amount of CSGO owners according to SteamDB info would have left us in the 30 to 40 million range for total cases remaining plus however many there are in storage units and private inventories if we assume the supply is evenly spread out between public and private inventories. Of course since the case was dropping actively such a long time ago an undetermined amount of those cases will also be in inventories that have since been abandoned. But my main point is there are enough cases remaining to cause the cases listings to rise again and thus cause the price to fall. That's what makes analyzing the case tricky currently. We also don't really know how many of the cases that were sold in the past few weeks were unboxed versus invested into. Fiedic, a member of the CSGO market forum subreddit and discord server who posts these amazing graphs on total unboxings for every case out there, plans to make a new post in June which would give us an important piece of missing data and once we get those numbers I let you guys know on Twitter and most likely in the next episode of best case scenario as well. Data we do have right now though is the two graphs Fiedic posted in the past few months. Both are in the description if you want to check them out for yourselves. The wildfire case was unboxed 18 million times in five years up until March 11th 2021 and another 210,000 times between March 12th and April 11th. That's even lower than the numbers for two of the cheapest rare cases, the Shadow and Felchen cases. Going back to this sheet, we can see that there wasn't much of a difference in supply between the three cases. So again, getting the updated numbers on the amount of case unboxings in May will be pretty important to get a proper grip on the situation. Before we take a look at the skins in the Wildfire case, which might provide us with some more useful info, let's look at the ROI when unboxing it. Right now, according to this site, which can also be found in the description, the ROI is at a respectable 65%, still higher than those for the Shadow and Felchen cases for example. Let's take a look at the skins now to get a better understanding for how the ROI could be so high. You know what? Let's start with the mil specs this time and make our way up to the coverts. Anything pricey in terms of mil specs? Nope. In terms of restricted skins? Not really. Classified skins? I guess the prices are better than for the Felchen case at least. Not a standout skin here though, apart from the Komicho Dragon, though that also is nothing special in terms of its price. And finally, the Coverts. The less said about the Battlestar the better, but the AK Fuel Injector is really expensive. Nothing from the Shadow and Felchen cases can really compare. And the Bowie knives, while of course not that popular, are more valuable than both Felchen knives and Shadow daggers. Though again, the question becomes how has the opening demand for these three cases changed? If it hasn't, we can probably assume that there's more of an increase 
interest by investors than anything else. Which leads us to the main question, is it sustainable and is this a safe investment at its current price point? Describing an investment like this as safe, especially at this current time, is definitely a difficult proposition. I'm first interested in the unboxing numbers before we can categorize this as an investing hype or increased unboxing demand, but what is safe to say is that investors most definitely had something to do with this spike. Another thing is that there really isn't any new items to invest into right now or much else for people to spend their money on, so the wildfire case could go up by a few more cents until the summer sale near the end of June. Is it worth investing into it right now for profits that are going to be at very best in the 30% range in the coming 4 weeks, while simultaneously risking no upwards movement until that time or even a downward trend starting very soon as the price stabilizes again? Of course, even investing at the peak the last couple times worked out well for now I guess, and if all of this continues up until the summer like last year, the wildfire case might even pass 50 cents in July. But if a summer hype is indeed coming and things are at least trending in that direction for now, then there might just be safer picks than the wildfire case. In the event of a summer hype, my recommendation, as with just about any item, would be to sell them once you are satisfied with the profits. After the summer and a potential second case release in August or early September, which is not a guarantee though, the case will most likely stagnate as both the Stockholm major items releasing in late September or early October and a potential operation coming in November or December will cause people to sell off their items to reinvest in both the operation and the major, leaving little room for growth until spring or summer 2022. And that concludes this video. Next week's best case scenario episode will be on the Spectrum 2 case. Thank you for watching as always, have a good one.